It's Tony G from Tony G's Guitar Kitchen. Welcome to the new place. Me and the kids uh, moved to the other side of our borough and um, we have this fabulous, wonderful new location. We downsized a bit. This is all hard surfaces in here compared to our house. So it is a live out, uh, real room sound and I love it. It's got high ceilings and it's a perfect place to uh, have a little home studio and to do the uh, Guitar Kitchen videos. So I finally got around to it. This is the Michael Kelly Ebony 55. Uh, let me read off some of the specs because this is a phenomenal guitar. The top is striped ebony, swamp ash body. Uh, the binding is beautiful. It's flamed maple, um, bolt-on neck. Uh, the fretboard is Powell Ferro, which is becoming pretty common now, although I guess rose, a certain kind of rosewood is back. Um, it is a, a 10 and a half to 16 um, uh, fretboard radius, 22 medium jumbo frets. It's got dot inlays. The headstock is a classic uh, 1950 style a Tele, uh, 25 and a half inch scale length, uh, truss rod, dual action. It has a modern C profile. This neck is really more like a uh, like a Stratocaster neck than a Tele. It's not as beefy as the classic 50 tellies, but it's just perfect for my hands. I don't have huge hands, so it's fantastic. Uh, it's got a bone nut on it. Um, it came with uh, the Dario 10 to 46s on it. I'm a 9 guy, so I've got 9 to 46s on it. Uh, let's see. So this is the fantastic, interesting part about it. The uh, This is considered the Great 8 mod. This is a boutique mod. Um, so it's got push pulls. So these are really uh, coil taps. These are not uh, split coils. There is a little bit of a difference, and um, I, I don't want to go into it. Everybody's got videos on what the difference is between coil tap and split uh, split coils. But both push pull three way switch. Uh, the neck pickup is the Seymour Duncan uh, Seymourized mini humbucker. Uh, this has got the brand on it of Rockfield, uh, so I don't know if Rockfield was a line of mini humbuckers or if they made them just specifically for the Michael Kelly. But the newest version has the same uh, mini humbuckers on it. The bridge pickup is the Stag Mag. Uh, this is a hot, hot, hot pickup. I'm trying to find some on the used market uh, for a re reasonable price to put in. Uh, I actually want to put one of these in the Harley Benton because this just screams. Um, so that's really kind of the specs on it. What's fantastic about this guitar is every single one of these positions, so you have the neck position, both controls down, tone, volume and tone down, has a particular sound, right? So, pull up the volume knob, it's another combination. Pull up the tone pickup, it's another combination. Push the volume down, just have the tone pickup up. Every position has those combinations. The middle position, you can do the same. Online, they have a, well, as I printed it out, it's uh, eight pages of all the different combinations, what combination of the pickups are, are playing. You know, top, bottom, it, it's phenomenal. This has such versatility. It's a very heavy guitar. This guitar is as heavy as my Les Paul, and I have a very heavy Les Paul. Um, it has beautiful detail on the side. It's got the Michael Kelly logo. I don't know how much reflection. I haven't quite worked the lighting out in here yet, but on the neck plate, it's got the Michael Kelly logo. On the back, oh, you can see it on the back of the tuners, Michael Kelly logo. The binding is real, um, uh, maple. It's just, it's just beautiful. Everything about this car is, guitar is fabulous. 
Let me tell you how I came about it. I have been frequenting my guitar centers. I have two guitar centers in my community and my new favorite place usually is to go to the used rooms. What I think is happening is we have quite a few years behind us as boutique guitars or mod shop guitars. A uh, boutique guitar like this Michael Kelly or a G&L or Paul Reed Smith's, all those guitars now have so many lines within their brand. Fender's got a new freaking guitar coming out every week, or five. Gibson and Epiphone have the same thing. So we've had enough years of multiple brands, multiple teak, multiple custom-made guitars that are cycling themselves back into the used market. I saw this at the end of last year in my guitar center, in my, the one that I go to the most. This was listed, the price tag was $350. I knew that it was worth more than that, I just wasn't sure which version this was because there is, you know, half a dozen models that are very similar. They have different uh, pickup controls, uh, pickups controls, uh, some different hardware, uh, different configurations. This guitar in the, in the original Michael Kelly catalog, um, before Sam Ash bought Michael Kelly, this guitar was listed at $14.99. Um, the newest version of this guitar is $11.99 and the only thing that I can tell that's different on the new one is they have a Seymour Duncan branded mini humbucker, Seymourized mini humbucker. Other than that, it's the same guitar, same configuration, same push-pull um, coil taps and it's $11.95. I went back the next day to see if this was still here when I realized, holy crap, I hope they don't realize what they have and change the price. They did not change the price. I asked them, I said, do you know what you have? So the only thing that I can think of is that the person that traded this in or sold it to Guitar Center to sell either didn't know what it was, maybe they got it for a gift, didn't realize how valuable the guitar it was, and maybe they didn't care. But after they went and looked in their computer, they came back and said, yeah, that's what we need to sell it for. Um, I bought it for $350. This, up until now, and I've owned uh, probably about 60 different guitars in my lifetime, I like this so much that when we downsized, I had to get rid of a little more than half of the guitars that I owned because I don't have the space for them in here. Um, I even got rid of my Fender Tele because this is just by far one of the finest guitars I've ever owned. So, think about that when you're looking for gear. Um, I'm always looking for a bargain, a deal, uh, orphaned guitar, um, even if I have to do some work to it to get it back up to life. But you can find some fabulous, fabulous guitars in the used market. Unfortunately, because of the TV series, The Pawn Kings, I think that's what it's called, most of the pawn shops in my community are not selling anything for a price that you can't find it on eBay or even at Guitar Center or whatever your guitar um, store is in your neighborhood. So the pawn shops aren't really a great place and um, Goodwill doesn't sell these guitars, doesn't sell guitars in their stores anymore. They sell them online. It's hard to see what you get. But the Guitar Center used room usually has one person from the store that is in charge of that and that person rotates usually. There's a little bit of turnover in the Guitar Centers in my town. Um, but it's really great to get to know that person. And if you're looking for anything specific, uh, you know, talk to them, go in regularly. That stuff rotates pretty fast. So this is it. This is the Michael Kelly 55 ebony striped Seymour humbucker, powerful Seymour humbucker at the bridge and a Seymourized mini humbucker at the neck.